Starship lifted off on October 13th, 2025 for its 11th full stack test flight, marking the end of an era. All 33 Raptor 2 engines on the first stage performed nominally, all the way up to hot staging. Starship successfully separated with all six engines firing as it made its way towards space, whereas Booster 15-2, having previously flown on Flight 8, did its boost back burn. On landing, the Super Heavy Booster tested an engine configuration which will be used on future V3 boosters, before shutting off its engines, splashing down and exploding. Starship reached Seco and all six Raptor engines successfully shut down. A few minutes into the coast phase, the payload door was opened and Starship deployed eight Starlink simulators, which went a lot smoother than last time, and towards the end of its coast phase, it performed an in-space Raptor relight. The first signs of re-entry eating became apparent not too long after, and this re-entry was absolutely crazy. At around 60 kilometers above the ground, it performed the first of two powerful banking maneuvers, which caused it to pretty much enter the atmosphere sideways. The space engineer on X tracked Starship through re-entry and you can really see how this maneuver changed its course, which is really cool. So really well done by him. In the last couple of minutes, Starship performed another dynamic banking maneuver to mimic the trajectory that future missions returning to Starbase will fly, with it pretty much doing a loop around its landing site. And then, just a couple of hundred meters above the ground, it lit its engines, performed the flip maneuver and softly touched down in the Indian Ocean before tipping over and exploding. This was the last flight of the second generation of Starship vehicles and also the last flight from Pad 1 in Texas, having served us 11 historical flights. The next flight could still be months away as SpaceX tried to get Pad 2 up and running, as well as the V3 versions of Starship and Super Heavy, but we'll be waiting in anticipation for when that day arrives. For now, you know that